All right, guys, welcome back. So I literally have a whole crisper full of beer to review. Um, some of this stuff, it right now it's a little older, but uh, stuff like this, I've already had one. I've literally had this about a month. Uh, I already know what to expect. Um, this was bottled uh, December 8th, 2016. And I believe I got it back in March. Uh, so then it was a little lacking on the peach. It does say peach. Um, so now it's probably going to be pretty low. You know what? One second. I just forgot my fucking glass. Okay. I always manage to screw it somehow. Not sure if this actually has peach puree in it or not. It's like a marshmallow man's having a great day. So this um, is literally sitting about for about five months, past well, maybe almost six months. Sorry, I got the clothes washer going. You know, gotta have clean clothes. Can't be like the rest of these dirty ass people in this town. If you hear a noise, it's because uh, jackass announcer over here at the college is yakking on the intercom. So it's it's a little a little fruity citrus. Can't really pinpoint it. A little sweet, a little maltiness. Eh, yeah, let's get it to it. It is 5.8%. Yeah, and I literally got this the uh, first couple weeks that Oklahoma got it. So uh, there was uh, three or four different IPAs. I think there was four. And I think one of them was just a couple weeks old. So for this being already two to three months old, getting it, and the only way to get it is in the uh, multi-pack, that says something about their idea of, you know, a fresh IPA. Honestly, the peach flavor hasn't died off too much. It's there. You can tell it's not an orange, you can tell it's not a pineapple, you can tell it's not a mango. Still pretty good. Um, the maltiness kind of went up just a little bit. By the way, by the time you're watching this, I'm sure I'll already have other videos out, but uh, this noise canceling uh, phone will be on the way. I'm thinking I'm going to get a, a mat to lay out as well. I got a 12. 12 by 12 inch squares. Uh, I think I'll put some up here uh, along the back wall. Maybe even right directly behind the camera. Uh, that should help. It's like 20 bucks. So yeah, it's okay. Nothing to get too excited about. Very subtle bitterness, little grains, little sweetness. I drink it again. Nothing wrong with it. 
Uh, I'm gonna say eight and a half. I'd, I'd give it a better score, but if you guys are watching this here in Nevada, you really need to kick out this shit a little sooner, or actually later. Um, I do believe the torpedo had the longest, or had the, the shortest span of bottle to packaging. And that's a year-round beer that they sell um, a shit ton of, so why couldn't they get this out and just threw some torpedoes in there? I don't know. So. Alright, so there you go. I'm going to down this off camera. I already gave you a score. So, uh, we'll be seeing you.